Hey guys, this is Key. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. I've been uh, fishing. No, I've gone fishing just one day. Um, I wanted to address a blog that I wrote a few days ago uh, called Counterintuitive Real Estate SEO Ideas. And a lot of people are sometimes confused about what is it that is really happening when you look at your SEO? First of all, SEO is search engine optimization. It's that simple. Basically, it means what do I get to do to be organic and visible? In other words, how do I get Google to date me? I mean, really, yes, it's as simple as that. Uh, if you can date Google for a while, you get to be on page one of Google. Guess what? You get visibility. The idea behind the blog was a lot of this stuff that is talked about by the so-called experts, uh, people who've never built a website but can tell you what SEO is, is driven by this desire of how to find a trick. What is the trick? What can I buy? What can I do? Rather than that, I've been thinking that uh, the more I work with brokers and owners, I realize that there is a way of doing it and these five things I'm going to share with you may not seem intuitive at first. So let me share one with you. What if I told you your attitude and your outlook matter more than your technical knowledge? You're going, huh? What do you mean? I understand HTML. I am a programmer. I get on the computer and I do HTML all day long. Won't matter. You see... On the internet, internet marketing is about telling stories. I, if I take two agents, one who knows everything about HTML and somebody who knows eh, a little bit, one who knows a little bit blogs every day about what they do, what they're doing it, what listings they have in the right location, they have the right website and they do the right stuff. The other one decides to build their own website. This guy will be on page one faster than this guy. Your habits and your outlook and your attitude matter more than anything. By the way, the second one is called your habits. Your habits are more important than your knowledge of programming. If you decide to be the storyteller for a particular neighborhood, you will be the one on page one for that neighborhood. You will be the one who can knock on people's doors and say, I'm here to list your house. When are you moving? And say, who are you? And you say, well, my name is such and such. And when you leave, guess what? They'll Google you. They not only will Google you, they'll Google the neighborhood and Google what's happening in your area. And they go, my God, Susie here shows up every time. Honey, we need to talk to her. The third one, keywords don't matter. I know it drives every SEO guy crazy. You can keyword yourself to death and not get on page one of Google. What matters is your ability to tell a story. In other words, blogging. Do you know that you can write blogs that have no keyword meta tag and they will be on page one of Google? Drives programmers insane. The fourth one is called, your website is only a part of your internet strategy or your website is only uh, one way of showing who you are. You need to have what's called multiple web strategies. At the center of it is your website, of course, and yourself. But it's the channels that connect all of them that matter. And the last one, and this one makes people insane. Listing syndication and IDX have hurt you more than have helped you. If you've been in the business a long time, you will realize when everybody have your, has in your, your information, basically MLS access and the IDX and the feed and the MLS, you know, you're making them bigger than you. I know I didn't share with you anything SEO-ish, but I hope I shared with you something about that would get you thinking about how you think matters more. Happy blogging. I hope I see you blogging and putting your story out there. And by the way, don't be afraid of doing videos. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.